What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm Tony B. And again, welcome to my channel, Tony B Hair Wigs Business. Alright? Today we're about to dive into this. We're watching a closure straight Brazilian 28 inch hair wig. Alright? Here we go. Oh yeah, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Click that bell too so that you get notifications every time I drop a video. Alright, sorry about that. I'm just using the shampoo as a cleansing agent. Shampoo is meant to clean the scalp. So there is no scalp attached to this wig. But for dirt and buildup, I'm using light shampoo. Alright. And look at that water. Alright. Now this wig here is a 28 inch wig here. Um, I made it nine months ago. So this wig is like nine and a half months old. Okay. So, um, yeah, bear with me. Now, when you put the wig in the water, you just want to mat it. You don't want to rub it. You don't want to do all that. You know, you want to be careful because it is a wig and you don't want to ruin it. Um, so be as light as possible while getting the dirt and build up out. And remember, use lukewarm, lukewarm warm temperature water. I'm sorry, lukewarm water or room temperature warm water. Sorry about that. Um, try to use that temperature of water. Don't use hot or cold when washing. When when rinsing out shampoo and that sort of thing, or 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 setting out water for um, the hair to go in. Make sure that's lukewarm or um, room temperature, not hot or cold. So a combination of in between. That makes sense. <laughs> All right, guys. So as you can see, that water is pretty dirty. Dirty. <laughs> um, the water is pretty dirty. So uh, yeah. That's from that wig. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and speed the rest of this up. The rest is gonna be a conditioner, a cold wash conditioner, um, and then I'll talk you through that. All right. So I was going to speed it up, but I changed my mind because I want to talk to you guys about the product I'm using here. All right, so this is the cold wash part. Um, this is where we're gonna go ahead and we store the moisture back into the wig. Um, we're gonna use conditioner. You can use any conditioner, it doesn't matter. You can even use any shampoo. It doesn't matter. Um, the shampoo is, like I said, is only, um, should be a very light amount applied to the water, but the conditioner, you wanna be very generous. All right, uh, go ahead and tangle out that hair. Um, and loosen it up, get all the get all the the, uh, the kinks out of the hair with the conditioner. Um, go through it with your hands, and it should be fairly easy to to loosen up the hair um, with the conditioner or detangle the hair while the conditioner is in it. Uh, yeah. So make sure you apply a generous amount of conditioner on both ends. All right, and like I said, it doesn't matter what conditioner you wear, but make sure you get conditioner throughout that way, all over that hair, you know? For the next video, because uh, you guys watch out for the next video because I will be repairing this way and on the next video, so be watching out for that, all right? Because after you wash the wig, usually it usually wears on the tracks and you have to tighten it up a little bit. So I'll do a video on that. That'll be the next video.
Okay, guys. So unlike when we was washing the wig was with shampoo, we was using lukewarm or room temperature water. When we're washing the conditioner out, we're gonna use all cold water. We want to get all of that conditioner out of there because any left uh, left conditioner could um, could risk the wig being too um, heavy, um, too greasy, um, um, and it will. Uh, it will be hard to give the hair body with a lot of oils and conditioner in it So make sure you get all that conditioner out. You see all that's that studs or the subs those that's all conditioner That is all conditioner. That's no soap. All right, so you want to get all that conditioner out with cold water All right, that cold water lifts up that grease that conditioner um, And it gets rid of it All right and um, at some point, if depending on how deep your shampoo bowl is um, and how long your hair is, at some point you may have to drain and rinse because you want to get all that conditioner out of that hair. All right, as you guys see, I'm, I'm doing here. All right, sorry if you guys can't understand me totally. <laughs> it's my first time doing a voiceover, so I'm trying, guys. Look how beautiful that hair is. Again, guys, this is a custom made wig. I'm Tony B. This is a custom, uh, I said that already. Uh, I am a custom wig maker. <laughs> so, um, if you're interested in a wig or hair bundles, I'll leave that link down below. And also, the products that I use to shampoo or the shampoo product that I use, I'll leave that down below as well. Look how beautiful that hair is. And now that we've conditioned, even before we conditioned it, it would have been easy to um, move your fingers through, but it doesn't get tangled. Um, you, you can detangle the hair really easily um, after you wash washed it. All right, guys, so make sure you comment, subscribe, and click that bell so every time I post a video, you'll get notification of it. All right. Nice. Look at that closure. All right. So you guys have a great day. I love you guys. God bless.